Bishop Connolly High School, where tonight we have collegiate women's basketball as the Bristol Community College Lady Bees open up their 2010-2011 home schedule as they take on the Lady Warriors of Massasoit Community College. I'm Keith Tebow, and thank you for joining us tonight for tonight's game. The Lady Bees enter this contest at 1-4, and four, playing their first five games on the road their one of victory this season came uh, earlier this year at Northern Essex, Essex College when they beat Northern Essex uh, by a score of 55 to 41. Last time out, the Lady Bees on the short end of a 60-57 overtime loss to Lincoln College of New England. That was just a few days ago. Lady Warriors come in at three and six, having uh, lost their last game at Dean. College by a score 73 to 49. We'll have the starting lineups in just a moment, but the tip is underway and the Lady Bees have the ball. Kaya Gifford, number four, now gives up to the point guard, Benita Langston. Right away, the Lady Warriors are in a 2 3 zone. Gifford, now Langston, number three, puts up a shot for three off the glass. That won't go, and the rebound will come down to Massasoit's Nicole Federico. Outlet pass quickly. Shot from the corner from just inside the arc by Aaron Clofer is short, and the Lady Bees get the rebound. The starting lineup for the Bees, as I said, with the ball right now is number five, April Clay. She has it now in the middle. Gifford, now Langston. And we'll have the starting lineups in full in just a moment. That's Renee DeBarros, number 14, with the ball now. They swing it around. Langston puts up the shot and it is knocked out of bounds. Here's an opportunity to give the starting lineups. For BCC, number three is Benita Langston. Number four is Kaya Gifford. Number five is April Clay. Number 14, Renee DeBarros. And number 25, Ika Mazurkevich. Shot goes short, coming back the other way and the basket's gonna count. And it is good and the foul and the bucket made by Nicole Federico. So that's the first points of the game. And we are underway. And Federico looks to make a three point play, and she does. So it's 3 0 Massasoit. That foul is on BCC's Kaya Gifford. That's her first and the team's first. Stolen away on the inbounds pass. Federico inside again, and she gets fouled again and she'll take two shots. That foul is going to be on BCC's Renee DeBarros. That's her first, and the second on the Lady Bees. Federico makes the first. We'll get the Massasoit lineup for you in just a moment. Second shot is short, tipped up, taken down and in on the rebound, Allison Hardiman. So six straight points to start things off here for Massasoit. And they lead 6-0. Langston gets double teamed and they're gonna call a timeout. So shaky start here for the Lady Bees as Massasoit doing a good job of pressuring the ball. Gives us an opportunity right now to give you the starting lineup for the Lady Warriors at Massasoit Community College. Number 10 is Nicole Frederico. Number 11 is Erin Clofer. Number 12 is Shanice Torres Rocha. Number 14, Jamie Gauthier. And number 23, Allison Hardiman. Again, in the game so far, Federico has three points and Hardiman has two. So that is the lineup for both clubs as we get started here this evening with the Lady Bees getting the ball. The barrel to inbounds the ball for BCC. Langston picks up her dribble and right away the full court press is working for Massasoit. Nearly a steal. The Barrows gets it in over the timeline and they're going to say she went over and went back. So that's a turnover and it's going to be Massasoit basketball. Inbounding the ball for Massasoit is Gauthier, and now she gives it up to Erin Clofer. She's the point guard, number 11. BCC in a 2-3 zone. Federico, 4-3, and she hits. 9-0, Massasoit on top. 
And the ball goes out of bounds. Another turnover on the Lady Bees. Lady Bees with first year head coach Terry Smith in his sixth game of the season, first home game of the year, as we mentioned earlier. Ball thrown and stolen away by the Lady Bees. The Barrows will bring up the ball for BCC. They trail 9-0, 1754 left to go here in the first half. Inside, Mazurkevich has it stolen away. And here come the Lady Warriors. They'll slow it down. Federico. Clover, number 11. BCC in a 2-3 zone. Federico inside Hardeman. She looks, and that's going to be a travel. That's going to be a turnover. Our first substitution for BCC, Sarah Brazil comes in, number 22. And April Clay will sit out. Again, right away, Massasoit pressuring the inbounds pass. And BCC does a better job now with the Barrows, breaking it inside pass. Gifford has it stolen away by Hardeman. Lady Warriors look to come back. BCC gets back on defense, and now the Bees steal it away. Ball on the floor, it's going to be a tie-up. And it's going to go to Massasoit. Federico will inbounds the ball for Lady Warriors. Bounce inside, and that's going to be a travel. As Hardeman palmed the ball and didn't have control, and BCC will get the ball back. Still looking for their first point of the game. They trail 9-0. Gifford, the Barrows will take the shot and hit it. There we go. That gets BCC on the board. It's 9-2. 17 minutes left to go here in the first half. Federico looks to get the ball inbounds inside and it's stolen away by BCC. It's going to be knocked out of bounds. It's going to be B's basketball. Clay will come back in. And Mazurkevich will sit out for the Lady Bees. Brazil gets it in and has it nearly stolen away. But Gifford comes up with it for BCC. Ball off her foot and it's kept in bounds. And Back to BCC, Brazil. The Barros looks for the shot. Will take the dribble. Langston for three. Yes! Five straight points now for BCC, and it's a nine to five ball game as Langston hits the shot. And Coach George Brown and the Lady Warriors are going to take a timeout. 16 22 left to go here in our first half, and it is. 9 to 5. The score, Massasoit on top. As I said, the Lady Bees come in with a record of 1 and 5. All their first uh, four games, actually 1 and 4, I'm sorry, their first five games on the road. And this is their first home game of the year. They start out with three straight losses at Yukon Avery, losses at Bunker Hill, and loss at Mass Bay before they got their first win in game four at Northern Essex. And then they, uh, they ended up losing their last two games at Roxbury. And then, as I said, their last game out, a tough overtime loss at Lincoln College of New England. Massasoit has the ball in the four-point lead. Clofer, bounce pass, Hardeman up off the glass, no good. Rebound comes down to Brazil for BCC. The Barrows looks to drive, bounce pass, they're swinging around, Langston for three again, in and out, no good. Rebound is taken down by Torres Rocha. There's gonna be a foul on BCC. That's gonna be the third team foul. And the foul is gonna be on April Clay, that's her first. BCC in a 2-3 zone. Federico, Gothier, now in the corner, Clover, back to Federico, nearly stolen away, knocked out, and it will stay with Massasoit, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. 
May get the ball in. Clover. Hardeman, baseline jumper. Yes. Four points now for Allison Hardeman, and it's an 11 5 score. Again, BCC having trouble with the pressure. Langston now over to Clay, and they get it over the timeline. Now in the corner, knocked out of bounds, and it will remain BCC basketball. Pass intended there for Gifford. BCC gets it in. They look to set it up. Langston now Clay. Gifford. Brazil, baseline jumper off the iron, no good. Rebound taken down by Torres Rocha. And here comes Massasoit, wide open. Hardeman with the bucket. 13 to five is the score. Hardeman has six points and the Lady Bees throw it away. Fourteen forty-five left to go here in the first half. Thirteen to five, Massasoit on top. Federico picks up her dribble. Now Hardeman up high. Federico three from the corner, no good. Tipped up and taken down by now by Gifford for BCC. Picks up her dribble and the Barros has to save it from going out of bounds. Massasoit still in the 2-3 zone. Langston picks up her dribble. Gifford, cross court stolen away. Bad pass taken by Gauthier. She looks to go all the way and there's gonna be a foul on the Lady Bees. That's gonna be on Kaya Gifford. That's her second and the fourth for BCC. Coming into the ball game now for Massasoit. Soyet is number 34, Cynthia Santos. And coming in for BCC is Nicolette Hutchinson, number 24. Clawfer for three, no good. Rebound taken down by Clay. Lady B's come back. Brazil from the free throw line, that won't go. And Santos comes down with the rebound. Clawfer, Hardeman, too high, out of bounds. So right away, Massasoit now playing a softer press. Three-quarter court, and the Bees get it up over. The Barrows off the glass and in. Four points now for the Barrows, and it is 13-7, Massasoit. Santos. Cross court, nearly stolen away, and is stolen away by Brazil. Lady Bees don't have the numbers, unfortunately. And the shot is up, no good. That's gonna be a three shot foul. As uh, actually Jasmine Rodericks with the shot there for BCC. And she'll be shooting three shots. And that foul is gonna be on Torres Rocha, that's her first, and the team's first. First shot goes. Now Cynthia Santos will be coming in for BCC after the next shot. Jazzy Rodericks makes her first. That one's going to be short. Now the substitutions will come in. Santos comes in for BCC, and Michaela Diaz comes in for Massasoit. Final shot now for Rodericks, and she makes it. So two free throws for Rodericks, and it is 13-9. BCC now down by nine, down by four, rather. 13-20 left in the first half. Pass goes inside, Torres Rocha has it blocked, she's double teamed and throws it away. Shanice, 
Brazil. Rodericks outside for three, and that's off the mark, and it goes out of bounds. And it's going to be Massasoit basketball. Michaela Diaz, number three. Clofer, cross court now to Murphy. Murphy inside pass to Hardiman. Back out Clofer, three off the iron, no good. Tipped up and kept in, and that's going to be a travel. Call on Torres Rocha. There's going to be a timeout on the floor. Timeout is going to be called by BCC. We have 12 minutes and 45 seconds left to go here in our first half. And it is Massasoit Community College leading BCC by a score of 13 to 9. Coming into the ball game, the Lady Warriors from Massasoit are 3 and 6. As I said, their last game out, they lost to Dean College by a score of 73 to 49. And then before that, they actually uh, earned their third win of the season, defeating Springfield Tech by a wide margin, 86 to 37. So that was the last win for Massasoit two games ago. These two teams have played four times in their history. Of course, this is only the third season of BCC basketball. And the Lady Warriors have won all four. They're 4-0 against the Lady, um, Lady Bees, winning both games last year. Their first game was actually last year at Massasoit. And the Lady Warriors won 77-23. And then last January, this past year, Lady Warriors beat BCC by a score of 97 to 35. And thus far tonight, the Lady Warriors are up on top, 13 to 9, with 12.45 to go here in the first half. Lady Bees have the ball and they throw it away. As Brazil's pass was just a little bit too high for April Clay. Colfer will take the three, no good. Hardiman with the rebound, can't get the shot off. It's blocked and she is fouled. That foul is gonna be on Brazil, that is her first. And number five for the team. As Allison Hardiman will shoot two. Misses the first. And makes the second. So Hardiman has seven points. 14 to nine is the score. Once again, the press is hurting BCC, forcing another turnover. And Massasoit will get the basketball right in front of us. Clofer will shoot a three and hit it. First three points of the game for Aaron Clofer, and it's back up to an eight-point lead for Massasoit, 17 to nine. Langston for three. Benina Langston has six points. And it is 17 to 12, a five-point lead. Clofer for three again. No good, and that's going to be a foul over the back. That's going to be on Allison Hardiman. That's her first, and the second on the Lady Warriors here in the first half. Ball knocked on the floor, picked up by Langston, and she's fouled. That foul is going to be on Torres Rocha. That is her second and the team's third. And more substitutions coming in as Jamie Gothia will return into the ball game. And Torres Rocha, with the two fouls, will take a breather. There's 11.40 left to go here in the first half. Clay, Langston, and they throw it away. Lady Bees have 
two players there on that far side and no one on the near side as the Barros, Renee de Barros comes back in. She has four points. Santos will come out. Hardeman looks to drive. She does, dishes off to Gauthier who will take the three and that's gonna be no good. Clay gets the rebound for BCC. Long three, Rodericks off the iron, no good. Hardeman with the rebound for Massasoit. Hardeman looks to go all the way. And it's gonna be a blocking foul on the Lady Bees. That's gonna be on Jazzy Rodericks. That's her first. And the sixth team foul for BCC. As Nicolette Hutchinson will inbounds the ball. Diaz with the short shot underneath, no good. Clay comes down with the rebound. And here come the Lady Bees. Back the other way. Rodericks picks up a drizzle, dribble, and it's going to be a tie-up ball, and it's going to be BCC basketball. BCC has Langston, Brazil, Rodericks, Clay, and DeBarros out there right now. Clay. Rodericks. Gives it the ball to Brazil. Cross court, stolen away. Nice play by Gauthier. She's gonna go all the way and score. First two points for Jamie Gauthier, it's 19 to 12. That's gonna be a foul on Massasoit. It's gonna be an Allison Hardeman, that's her second. And the fourth team foul for the Lady Warriors. Langston picks up a dribble. DeBarros will take a long three. No good. Rebound taken down by Hutchinson. And they throw it away. Just past the halfway mark of the first half. 9.50 to go. And it's Massasoit 19, BCC 12. Clay. Swinging around Langston will haul up a three, no good. Rebound on the floor. It's gonna be Massasoit basketball. Michaela Diaz, BCC in a 2-3 zone. Gauthier, now Hardeman. Cross court pass, Clother. Inside, back to Diaz. Hardeman has the shot blocked by Brazil. She gets it back, puts it up, and she's fouled. It's gonna be a two-shot foul. Foul is gonna be on April Clay. That's her second, and BCC over the limit. So the Lady Warriors will be shooting free throws the rest of the first half. This will be a shooting foul. So Hardeman will shoot two. This is the first. Gifford is back in for BCC. Jazzy Roderick sits out. Hardeman makes one of two. She's got eight points. 20 to 12 is the score. BCC down by eight. Clay up top, Gifford, back to Clay, Langston, the Barrows, three from the corner, no. Rebound, she gets her own rebound back from the free throw line. That's gonna be no good, and that's gonna go out, and it's gonna be Massasoit basketball. Diaz comes back in for Massasoit, and Hardeman will sit out. She's got two fouls. 
as does Shanice Torres Rocha. For BCC, April Clay and Kaya Gifford each have two fouls. Clofer, Diaz, free throw line shot. Mm, yes, it goes in. First two points for Michaela Diaz, and it's a 10 point lead, biggest of the ball game. 8.25 to go here in the first half. 22 to 12 is the score. And there's a foul, and that's going to be on number 34. That's Nicole Hutchinson. I'm sorry, Nicolette Hutchinson, I apologize. That's her first, the fifth team foul for Massasoit. The Barrows drives off the glass, no good, tipped up, gets her a rebound and has it stripped away. Diaz, shot is short and it's out of bounds. It will be BCC basketball. Get yeah, Massasoit, full court press. And Gifford barely brings it over. Langston now to Barrows will shoot a three, no good. Out of bounds, it will stay with BCC with 17 seconds on the shot clock. Barrows gets it in, Clay shoots it, no good. And the Barrows is there with the rebound. She puts it up, no good. Rebound taken down and thrown out of bounds by Federico. A lot of turnovers and a timeout now called by Terry Smith and the Lady Bees. It's going to be a 30 second timeout. 7.42 left to go here in the first half. Actually, it will be a full timeout. Coming into this ball game, the Lady Bees are led in scoring by Renee DeBarro. She's averaging 10.4 points per game. Bonita Langston is averaging 9.4 points per game. Followed by Sarah Brazil at 6.2, and also Jazzy Rodericks averaging 6.2 points. April Clay is averaging 4.8 points per game, and just about everyone else averaging about a point a game this season for the Lady Bees. As we said, the Lady Bees come in at 1 in 5, having won uh, that one game earlier this year at Northern Essex Community College, that back on November 23rd. That was a 55-41 victory. As we said, this is actually the home opener for the Lady Bees. They started with their first six games on the road. So uh, glad to be back home as they will be playing their next two games, this one and against Dean College at home before they head away again for two games, one just before the Christmas break and one right after the first of the year. And then obviously they'll have uh, quite a few home games going down the stretch as we enter 2011. All right, BCC with the basketball. They have the Barros, Langston, Brazil, Clay, and Gifford in there right now. Massasoit has Klo, Federico, Hutchinson, Diaz, and Gauthier. Langston, Gifford inside Clay, turnaround jumper. It's gonna be short, Gifford with the rebound. That won't go back in. And Diaz comes down with the rebound for Massasoya. Federico Gauthier. Clofer likes to take the threes, and that one's going to be short. She gets her own. Gauthier gets the rebound and has it blocked. Long outlet pass. Langston all alone for two and a foul. Nice play there by Benita Langston. She's got a chance to complete a three-point play. And that foul is going to be called on Federico. That's her first, sixth on the team. Langston looks to complete a three-point play, and she does. 22 to 15 is the score as Torres Rocha comes back in. Hutchinson will sit out for Massasoit. Diaz also comes out, and Hardeman is back in. BCC now with a full court press. Golfer gets double teamed, she gives it into Hardeman. Hardeman looks to drive, and there's gonna be a foul on the floor. And that's gonna be, I believe that's gonna be on April Clay. If it is, that's gonna be her third foul, it is. That's her third foul here in the first half. She's gonna to need to take a breather. 
That's the eighth team foul. And on the line to shoot, one and one, Mazurkiewicz will come in to replace Clay. And on the line to shoot one and one, I believe, is Hardeman. Off the back, no good, and Hardeman gets her own rebound. Gauthier, Gauthier has it knocked out of bounds by Langston. Good hustle play there by Benita. Federico looks to get it in. Having trouble, she does to Hardeman. Hardeman in the lane, Gauthier. Clother, bounce pass inside, has it stolen away by Brazil. Lady D's look to run. Langston. Mazukevich. Brazil, shot no good, she gets her own rebound. Second shot won't go. And Gauthier gets the rebound for Massasoya. 6.20 left. Massasoya up by seven, 22 to 15. Gauthier drives, has a shot blocked, and ball on the floor, and who's got it? The Barrows has it for BCC. Langston, bounce pass now. The Barrows will shoot a three, and that's gonna be off the iron, no good. Mazurkiewicz couldn't get the rebound. Coach Smith looking for a foul, isn't gonna get it. Hardeman, bounce off the glass and in. 24-15. Hardeman now with 10, leading all scorers for Massasoit. Stolen away by Hardeman, they've got the numbers. Clover won't go, but she's fouled. That foul is going to be on Sarah Brazil. That's her second, and actually BCC's. That's BCC's ninth team foul. But it's going to be a two-shot situation here by Erin Clover. She makes the first. As BCC makes more substitution as Jazzy Rodericks and Cynthia Santos comes in. Replacing Brazil and Langston. One of two. Ball knocked out of bounds will be ba uh, BCC basketball, but Massasoit back up by 10. Their biggest lead of the ball game with 5.20 to go. Rodericks double team and the ball, she loses it out of bounds. Massasoit has the basketball and a 10 point lead. Federico. Wolfer looks for the three, passes it up. Give it back out, Hardeman. Drives, has it knocked away, out of bounds, and it's gonna be off Massasoit. And it will be BCC basketball, 4.56 left to go here in the first half. Ball blocked by Hardeman, right back into the hands of Santos, because she had one foot out of bounds, and that's a turnover. Lofer drives, has it knocked out of bounds, it will stay with Massasoit. Nicole Frederico inbounds it now to Erin Clofer. She's got four points on the night. Frederico for three, off the iron, no good. Clofer with the rebound. Frederico again, that won't go. Who's gonna get it? Hardeman for Massasoit. Clofer for three, got it. Biggest lead for the Lady Warriors, 28-15. And BCC has the ball stolen, and Clofer will give it to Frederico for two. 
30 to 15. Massasoit up on top and they steal it again. Clofer won't go, but there's a foul. BCC a little rattled here as we're wrapping up the first half and that foul is gonna be on Jazzy Rodericks. That's her second. BCC already in the double bonus and it will be a two shot free throw for Aaron Clofer. She makes the first. Massasoit has scored seven straight points here thus far. And I've opened up that lead. They were leading 22-15 and have scored now the next 10, last 10 points. It's 32-15 as Clofer gets two free throws. Barrows will shoot. Got it. 32-17 is the score. As the Barrows now has six points for BCC. Clofer looks inside Hardeman, goes up for the shot, she's fouled. That's gonna be on Mazurkevich. That's her first foul. As I said, Massasoit will be shooting free throws. The rest of the first half. As Hardeman will be on the line to shoot two. And she misses the first. Diaz comes back in. Kayla Diaz is back in for Massasoit, 3.26 left to go here in the first half. Hardeman makes one of two. 33-17, nearly stolen away, it is stolen away. Diaz gets it back and Massasoit will slow it down. 3.15 to go. Hutchinson back in the game. Inside pass, Hardeman, Diaz, got it. 35-17. <coughs> Excuse me, and the foul is gonna be on Massasoit's Federico. That's her second team now over the limit. So the Lady Bees now will shoot one and one, back the other way. as Renee DeBarros is on the line. Shoot one and one. And she makes the first. 35-18. Short rebound by Hutchinson. 35-18. And the ball is lost, and it will be BCC basketball. Just under three minutes to go in the first half. Brazil with the shot and cannot get it to fall. Hardeman with the rebound for Massasoit. Lady Warriors in no rush, up by 17. Hutchinson, baseline shot, no good. Hardeman with the rebound, that won't go. Brazil gets it. BCC looks to run, they have the numbers. Barros won't go. Gifford with the rebound, has it blocked. Langston gets it back now on the tip, puts it up, won't go, but she's fouled. That foul is going to be on Jamie Gauthier, that's her first. That will be a two shot foul. Benita Langston on the line. She gets the first. 35-19. And 35-20 is the score. As Langston makes them both. 
15 point Massasoit lead. 2.20 left in the first half. Diaz swings it around. Gauthier for three, got it. Thirty-eight twenty. The Barrows with the shot, no good, but there's a foul on the way through. That's going to be the second foul on Jamie Gauthier and the ninth team foul for the Lady Warriors. And Gauthier will sit out. It looks like um, so she's got uh, two fouls. And she comes out and Torres Rocha back in as the Barrows made the first and the second. 38-22. Under two minutes to go here in the first half. Hutchinson inside, nearly stolen away. Hutchinson gets it back and she traveled. And Clover comes in and Hutchinson will come out. Shot is up, no good. Tipped up, taken down by Massasoit. Clover. Frederico, bounce pass inside. Torres Rocha loses it. Stolen away by Brazil for BCC. The Barros over the timeline. Mazukevich, Langston for three, yes. 38-25. Hardeman inside off the glass and in and a foul. That foul is going to be on Renee DeBarros. That's her second team foul. And Hardeman looking to complete a three point play. Hardeman with 12 points. Make it 13. 41 24. Barrow high off the glass, no good. Rebound, Mazurkevich can't put it back in. And the ball comes back to BCC. Mazurkevich, the Barrows out of bounds. It's going to stay with BCC basketball. 17.1 seconds left in the first half. Langston for two, no good. Tipped up, Hardeman gets the rebound. 10 seconds left, and there's a foul in the backcourt. It's going to be on Gifford. That is Kaya's third foul here in the ballgame. And Hardeman will shoot two, 8.9 seconds left. Makes the first. Does not get the second. 42 24. Three seconds left. And that's going to do it. We've played one half of basketball here at Bishop Connolly High School. And the score at the half is Massasoit Community College 42, 
Bristol Community College 24. We'll take a break and have the second half coming up right after this. Welcome back to Bishop Connolly High School. We're getting set for the second half of this NJCAA Division III women's college basketball game with the Massasoit Lady Warriors leading the Bristol Community College Lady Bees by a score of 42 to 24. Leading scorers in that first half, Allison Hardiman from Massasoit led all scores with 15 points. Nicole Federico and Erin Clolfer also of the Lady Warriors with nine each. Jamie Gothier had five and Michaela Diaz had four. For the Lady Bees, they're led by Benita Langston with 13 points, Renee DeBarros with nine, and Jazzy Rodericks with two. And right away, the Lady Warriors lose the ball out of bounds and it's gonna be BCC basketball as we begin the second half. Lady Bees have Langston, Rodericks, Clay, Gifford, and DeBarros, and the ball is thrown away by Gauthier. Clofer has it thrown away by Langston. Gifford in the corner, Rodericks drives, throws it in, and throws it away. Torres Rocha, now to Hardiman. The Warriors have their starting lineup out there. Federico, Gauthier, Hardiman, Clofer, and Torres Rocha. Federico for three, no good. Nice rebound by DeBarro. She had a good position there. She comes back the other way. Goes up for the shot, and she's fouled. And will shoot two. Foul was on Erin Clofer. That's her first, first team foul in the second half. And Renata Barros will shoot two. First shot goes. 42-25. And she makes them both. 42-26. Clofer drives right in, bounce pass Hardiman, got it. Nice play there by Clofer and then Hardiman. 44-26. Rodericks for three, and that's gonna go out of bounds, and it will be Massasoit basketball. Federico has the wide open three, and it won't go. DeBarros with the rebound. BCC looking to slow down a little bit, get some consistent offense going. DeBarros way outside for three, and that's not going to go. And Clofer will get the rebound for Massasoya. Federico will shoot the long three, and that's not going to go. And DeBarros with another rebound. The Barrows off the glass, no good. Clay with the rebound, that won't go. And it's gonna be out of bounds off BCC and it will be Massasoit basketball. We've played two minutes and 15 seconds here in the second half. 44-26 the score, Massasoit on top. Federico will shoot another three. And that's not gonna go. Gauthier with the rebound inside Hardiman. Turn around, bounce past Torres Rocha, and that's gonna be a travel. Took the step before she put it on the floor, and that's a turnover. Play. 
in the corner. Rodericks will put the three up. That's not going to go. It's going to be Massasoit basketball. As it was off Kaya Gifford, out of bounds. Federico looks to drive. She does off the glass and in. Nicole Federico's first two points here in the second half. And is it nearly stolen away? It is. Clofer will get the easy bucket. 48-26, another stolen ball. Hardeman with the shot and she's fouled. Biggest lead of the ball game right now here for Massasoit. 48-26. And that foul is going to be on Jazzy Rodericks and that's going to be her third first team foul. And Hardeman will be on the line to shoot two. Already up by 22 points. Misses the first. And Brazil will come in and Gifford will sit out for BCC. Hardeman makes one of two. 49-26 is the score. Clay, no good. She tries to get her own rebound. She does, and unfortunately, she traveled before she got rid of the basketball. And it's going to be a timeout on the floor. Timeout is going to be called by Terry Smith and the Lady Bees. 16-26 left to go here in the second half, and it is a 49-26 ball game in favor of Massasoit Community College. As I said earlier, this is the actually the first home game for the Lady Bees this year, starting out one in five with six road games. Coming up for the Lady Bees, they're going to be uh, they've got two more contests before the Christmas break. They'll be playing um, on the 11th of December at home here against Dean College. And then they hit the road for one more game. That's going to be next week, the 13th, as they travel all the way out to Western Massachusetts to Holyoke Community College. And that'll be their last uh, two contests before the Christmas break. The Massasoit, uh, check that uh, the Lady Bees will play Massasoit again on January 5th, which will be the first game in 2011. And that'll be on January 5th at Massasoit Community College. And the Lady Warriors will get the ball. Up by 23 points, 49-26. Garfield bounce pass, Torres Rocha gets double teamed and has the ball stolen away by the Barrows. The Barrows will shoot a three. It's going to be off the front of the iron. No good. Clofer with the rebound. Hardeman. Inside pass. Torres Rocha back out to Gauthier. And she gets it. 51-26 is the score. Massasoit up on top. They steal it again. Hardeman with the easy two. Fifty-three twenty-six. The Barrows has it blocked. Gets it back and she's fouled underneath. <laughs> Massasoit scored the last eleven points here in this ball game and have up their lead to 27, 53, 26. That foul is going to be on Torres Rocha. That's her third. And the Barrows misses the first shot. Torres Rocha comes out. Hutchinson comes in now for Massasoit. That's the second team foul for Massasoit here in the second half.
And DeBarros makes one of two, snaps that 11-0 run, and it's 53-27. Fulfer off the backboard, no good. It's going to be BCC basketball. Barrels looks to run. Langston from inside the arc, no good. Rebound, Brazil won't go. And the ball go out of bounds. It was going to be Massasoit basketball as Clay was in on the play, but knocked it out of bounds. Fourteen forty-two left to go in the second half. It's 53-27, Massasoit leading BCC. Inside, Federico, bounce pass. They send it out, Clofer, three. No good, rebound come down and taken down by Clay. Brazil, no good, rebound Hardeman for Massasoit. Clofer, now Gauthier, bounce pass inside, back to Clofer, on the near side, being pressured by Clay, she throws it back out to Federico Hutchinson, inside, stolen away off the hands of Hardeman, into the hands of Brazil. Long outlet pass, Langston is knocked out of bounds, it's gonna stay with BCC. Clay will inbounds the ball over Langston. Jazzy Rodericks. Langston looks inside. She drives, puts it up, no good. Rebound taken down by who? Clay and Hardeman tie it up, and it's going to be BCC basketball. Brazil shot. In, she gets it. Brazil with two points, 53-29. First two points of the second half, first two points of the game for Sarah Brazil. And Clay is gonna be called with another foul. And I believe that is going to be number four on April Clay. Federico, bounce pass inside Hutchinson, outside Clofer, three, no. Clay can't save it. Federico inside Hardeman, and a foul. That foul is going to be on Sarah Brazil. That's her third. And the third team foul for BCC in the second half. Hardeman on the line to shoot two. She misses the first. And coming in will be Cynthia Santos. And Clay will sit out with the four fouls. She misses both, rebound by Santos. 53-29, Massasoit on top, 13.05 left. Jazzy Rodericks for three, off the back iron, no good. Brazil with the rebound. It's gonna be a jump ball and it's gonna to go to Massasoit. Off here. Hutchinson in the lane, won't go. Brazil with the rebound. Rodericks, another three off the iron, no good. Rebound. Langston gets it for the Bees. The 
swing it around. Santos puts up the shot, no good. Hutchinson with the rebound for the Lady Warriors. Come back the other way. Gopher, Gauthier wide open three, no. Rebound on far side by Santos. Both teams seem to be a little lethargic and they're gonna take a timeout as Coach Smith is gonna take a full timeout with 11 minutes and 52 seconds left to go here in the second half. It is Massasoit Community College leading BCC by a score of 53 to 29. And the Lady B so far, we've played eight minutes, only scored five points. Three by DeBarrow, she has 12, and Brazil has two points for Lady B's. On the other side of the ledger, Allison Hardiman now has 20 points on the night. She has five here in the second half. Two points each here in the second half by Gauthier, Clofer, and Federico. So that's where we stand here scoring-wise in the second half as it is 53 to 29. Let's see who comes out for both teams. Looks like it's gonna be DeBarros, Brazil, Langston, Rodericks, and Santos for BCC. For Massasoit, it's gonna be Federico, Hutchinson, Hardiman, Diaz in the game now and Gauthier. Massasoit, 2-3 zone, they skip it across the way now, Langston. The Barros drives, passes off, Brazil, no good. Rebound by Gauthier. And they bring it back up. Hutchison for three, no. Rebound by the Barros. Lady B's coming back. The Barrows all the way. It won't go. Hutchinson with the rebound has it knocked away and knocked out. It's going to stay with Massasoit. Gifford is back in the ball game, and the Barrows will take a breather. Kayla Diaz. Gauthier now being guarded by Jazzy Rodericks. You see now in a man to man defense. Hardiman inside. Gauthier all alone for the bucket. Nine points now for Gauthier. 55 29. Santos gets it. First two points for Cynthia Santos, and it's 55-31. Massasoit on top. Shot for three by Federico is good. Fifty-eight, thirty-one, twenty-seven point Massasoit lead. Ball knocked out, tipped off though by Massasoit. It will stay with the Lady Bees. Benita Langston, who had a good first half with 13. She's been held scoreless here thus far in the second. Under 10 minutes to go, as the shot by Brazil is no good. Hardiman has the rebound. They've got the number. She goes coast to coast. 22 points now for Hardiman. 60 to 31. And we'll stay with BCC as the ball is knocked out of bounds. Ball stolen away. Federico. It's good, and she is fouled. 
Foul is going to be on Cynthia Santos. That's her first, team's fourth. Another two points for Nicole Federico. She now has 17 in the ball game. And a chance to complete a three-point play. And that was a three-point play. Teams are kind of sort of just sitting flat-footed here. 63-31 is the score. 9.26 left to go. The Barrows, no good. Rodericks is there, but can't get it. It's out of bounds. It will stay, actually, with BCC. Anita Langston. The Barrows push off, gets away with it, will take the shot. And on the weak side, it's taken down by Michaela Diaz for Massasoit. Federico, no good. Rebound Diaz. She tries to give it to Garfield, who comes up with it. Inside Hardeman, no good, but she's fouled by DeBarros. And I believe that's going to be Renee DeBarros' fourth foul. It is. Team's fifth. And Hardeman will be on the line to shoot two. Makes the first. 64-31 as Massasoit has opened up their lead here in the second half. And Hardeman makes them both. 65-31. 8.45 left to go. Tom Massasoit playing a man-to-man -man defense. Langston, long three off the front of the rim, no good. She gets her own rebound and now gives it back to Jazzy Rodericks. Langston has it again. Fresh shot clock. Coach Smith wants a full timeout. 8.15 left to go here in the ball game with Massasoit firmly in control by a score of 65 to 31. The Lady Warriors, again, Allison Hardeman had 15 points at half. She's now got 22 in the ball game. I checked that 23 in the ball game as she has uh, eight here in the second half. And uh, leading all scores, Nicole Federico had nine in the first half. She now has 16 in the ball game. So those are the leading scores for Massasoit. For BCC, again, Renee DeBarros has 12. Bonita Langston has 13. Jamie Rodericks has two, and Cynthia Santos has two. So that's the scoring for the Lady Bees. Looking to get back in the ball game, trying to get something positive here in the final eight minutes and 15 seconds of the ball game. Gifford drives up and in. First two points for Kaya Gifford. 65-33. Gauthier for three, no good. Tip and kept in by Gifford. Reach and foul on Michaela Diaz. That's her first. Third on the team. Ika Mezukevich is in now for BCC. Gifford. Rodericks. Bounce pass now to DeBarros. Barros. 
Barros, Mazakevich. Rodericks, five on the shot clock. Langston puts it up and in. Benita Langston with two more points, 65-35. Diaz is swinging around. Clofer, Hardeman, two more. 67-35. Langston, the Barrows. Will shoot it for three, no. And rebound by Hutchinson. Hardeman, two more. 69-35. Two more points for Hardeman. 6.20 left to go. Mazakevich back out to the Barrows. We'll take a three. No good in and out. Mazakevich there with the rebound, and she can't get it up, and it's going to be knocked out of bounds. It will stay with BCC. Brazil comes in, and Jazzy Rodericks will sit out. Brazil drives, stops. The barrel from the baseline, in and out, won't go, out of bounds. It will be a Lady Warrior basketball. Torres Rocha comes in, Hutchinson will sit out. A couple of players out there with four fouls, the Barrows and Torres Rocha both have four fouls. Shot up by Klofer is no good, saved by Gauthier. Hardeman up and in, two more. She now has 30 points on the night. 71-35. Brazil off the glass and in. 71-37. Four points now for Sarah Brazil. As we approach five minutes to go in the ball game. Gauthier for three, no good. Weak side rebound is on Torres Rocha, and that could be all for her. And that is, that's her fifth foul, I believe. I have her for five, let's see what the official, that's only her fourth, I'm sorry. That is her fourth foul, fourth on the team as well, here in the second half. It's in the ball game for BCC is Joelle Harfouche, number 10. Gifford from the top of the key, that won't go. Tipped up, and who's got it? Gauthier, and now Hardeman comes down with it. Ball knocked out of bounds. It is going to stay on this side as there's a foul on the play. That's going to be on Jen, uh, Renee DeBarros, I believe. And that is her fourth. Diaz gets it in. Hardeman off the glass and in. Two more points for Hardeman. 32 on the night. 73-37. Four minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Brazil, no, tipped up. Gauthier comes down with it. Under four minutes to play now in the ball game. Klofer will shoot and hit a three. 76-37. Uh, 
play air ball, and that's going to be saved by Arfouche, but Matt Sasoya comes down with it, and two more for Hardeman on the other side. 34 points now for Allison Hardeman. 78-37 is the score. Brazil can't get it to fall. She gets her own rebound and she's fouled on the rebound shot. That foul is on Torres Rocha and she has fouled out of the ball game. Shanice Torres Rocha leaves the ball game and Hutchinson comes back in. And Sarah Brazil will shoot two. She makes the first. 78, 38. And Brazil makes them both. 78-39. Hutchinson, three minutes left. Gothier for three, and she hits it. 81-39. Shot is short, knocked out of bounds. It's going to be Massasoit basketball. 2.43 left to go. Langston comes back in for BCC. So they have Langston, Harfouche, Gifford, Brazil, and Clay in the ballgame. That's the Lady B lineup. Diaz has a shot blocked, and Langston comes back the other way. Up, no good. Rebound taken down by Gauthier. Long outlet pass, Hardeman. Bounce pass, Hutchinson. And she is hit hard on the shot. That's going to be on Brazil. That's her. I've got her for three fouls. And actually, it's her fourth foul on the game. And over the limit is BCC. So Hutchinson will shoot two. Misses the first. And she misses them both. Clay with the rebound. Long outlet pass. Langston will shoot from inside the arc. That's an air ball. And it's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay with BCC. Brazil. Langston. Far side, drive, puts it up, no good, but she is fouled. And she'll be on the line to shoot two. That foul is going to be on number 10. That's Federico. That's her third foul. Fifth team foul. And Benita Langston, who has 15 points on the night, will shoot two. Short. And she makes one of two. 81 to 40. Two minutes left in the ball game. Nice give and go, Federico. Travel. Clay from the free throw line, that won't go. Diaz with the rebound. Hardeman can't get it to go. She saves it, but right into the hands of Harfouche. A minute 20 to go, 81-40 is the score. Massasoit on top from the beginning, have not trailed in this ball game. 
foul is going to be on BCC away from the ball. It's going to be on Kaya Gifford. That's her third foul. And it's going to be an inbounds play for Massasoit. Arneman drives, no good, gets it back, puts it up, and she's fouled. It's going to be on Brazil. And that's going to be it for Sarah Brazil. She fouls out with six points on the night. Under a minute to go, 59.5 left. And the Barros will come back into the ball game. And Harneman will shoot two, 34 points on the night. Make it 35. And 36 points now for Hardeman, 83-40. And Hardeman will sit out. Under a minute to go, as we said. Langston, Barrows. Barrows has it swatted away. Gauthier has it. Hutchison. That's going to be a travel. Thirty-eight point one seconds left. Clay puts up the shot, no good. Hutchinson with the rebound. Bounce pass, closer, no. Rebound, Harfouche. Shot clock is off as we're under 30 seconds. Actually, 15 seconds left to go. Langston, no. Out of bounds, it's gonna stay with BCC with 10.1 seconds left. Well, the Lady Warriors will advance to four and six, and BCC will fall to one and seven on this young season. As Clay puts up the shot, it won't go. And that's gonna do it. So the Lady Warriors of Massasoit Community College comes into Fall River and handily defeats the Lady Bees of Bristol Community College. Our final score tonight is Massasoit Community College 83, Bristol Community College 40. For our cameraman Stephen Rice, I'm Keith Tebow. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Good night.